A standoff between Kensington neighbors and city workers over three 100-year-old pepper trees. ABC 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle tells us the neighbors are saying they're not going anywhere. They seem to have a vendetta against these pepper trees, mm -hmm. and they're going to take them down come hell or high water. In Kensington, neighbors set up camp chairs, signs, and even created no tree removal signs, mocking the city's no parking signs, ready to protect three 100-year-old pepper trees. I'll <laughs> sit at the bottom of the tree, <laughs> and I'll climb up we inside there. We don't really have a plan, you know. We're just uh, hoping that they uh, do the they, right thing. they have a little shame and do, do the right thing. We want to know why. The channels that we're supposed to go through in order to protect these trees, getting them, you know, designated as historic uh, trees or even historic parkway trees, why that's been ignored, I'd like to get those answers. Councilman Sean Ela Rivera stopped by Tuesday to support his constituents. It's very easy to, under to, to wonder why, if palm trees are falling down and peppercorns are staying up during a big storm, why the palm trees are coming down. I'm not an arborist. I, you know, I can't tell you what the actual risk is of the trees coming down. The city states the trees are a liability, old and decayed. If they do a pull test and they come over, then we'll accept that. But until they show us some real data that these trees are an actual danger and a liability, we're not going anywhere. City crews tried again Thursday to follow orders to take them down. Again, we're asking folks to move across the street for the safety of the contractor. No one budging an inch, creating a standoff. It looks like Thursday these trees have been spared another day. According to the group, they've been out here standing vigil for the last four days. Reporting in Kensington, Cassie Carlisle, ABC 10 News.